Hi, and welcome to Pico CTF 2018. And this is problem number 22. Reading between the eyes for 150 points. And it's under forensics. I think that's the fourth forensics problem we have uh, encountered. The problem in itself is Stegosaurus hid a message for you in this image. Can you retrieve it? And the hints here tells you maybe you can look or find an online decoder. Okay, uh, here's the thing to remember. We've done around, uh, well now, 22. The 10 first were kind of like very easy. And then came the easy category. And we're about to finish off on the easy category here, which means let's not just uh, look online for things but uh, find programs that you could download on your computer so you actually have them but for now we are going to uh, download the, this image and see what we can get out of it and we are going to save it to file which will end up in our downloads folder when we're using linux and the picture, if you remember when we downloaded the, the picture, it was called the Husky PNG. So here is the Husky PNG. Uh, we're not using the terminal right now because I actually wanted to take a look at uh, the picture itself. So what we have here is a cute little Husky. Uh, we can uh, do our properties. <coughs> Excuse me, just to see what it says, PNG 6.9 megabyte and uh, really much, uh, not much uh, more here. And uh, what we could do, and we're not going to do it, is uh, in a bigger case, which we will probably get later, you could go through this picture with uh, like Photoshop from Windows and uh, GIMP from uh, Linux and look through the layers and the use saturation and the vibrance and everything like that to see if something kind of like pops up. But uh, that's uh, a little tedious work. Uh, so we're not going to do that right now. So let's uh, close uh, this again and we are going to go back to um, the terminal. So now we're back in our regular terminal and we can uh, take an LS here and see what's inside. And you can see here we have the husky.png. Now remember, it doesn't even have to be a PNG, but we're assuming that it is for now. And a file on the Husky will give us uh, some information here. We've been through file from before, and uh, we have also been through strings, which uh, also is not going to help us here. But what might actually help us is a program which I downloaded and unzipped. It's called ZSDAG. Uh, it's a program that is described very well on uh, GitHub. And uh, that's the one we're gonna try to do now. A lot of people use Stegsold and a hundred different programs for doing exactly this. So there's no uh, one answer to find, uh, find uh, the flag here. Now, I haven't created any environmental paths, so I can't use ZSTAG all over my system, but I can use it in the downloads folder here. And uh, as you can see, it's in blue, so it's a directory. So CD ZSTAG, and we get uh, to a bin folder here cd bin and here we have zsdeg now we know how to run 
a program because we uh, we have uh, learned that already so we're gonna do a dot here and a slash and uh, Z tag and since we're still on the easy uh, missions or problems here we're going to rule out uh, parameters or options being used together with the Z tag but what we do need here is uh, the Husky PNG and the Husky PNG is not in this folder so we need a absolute path to get there so we are going to use uh, a slash and uh, home and uh, go to and the downloads folder and the picture husky png and then we're going to press enter and see what happens and here we already see the flag here so we have here the flag that we want right pico ctf reading between the bytes that's also a way to say it because you could probably also have done this through a um, a hex dump um, I use hexplex on Windows and bless uh, in Linux to do that but you try the easy stuff before you do anything else uh, this is a way of doing it uh, what I can also say here is uh, that we can go out of this I wandered off a little bit there but I wanted to say I can also show you this and that's the github page with the uh, zstag with a description detects Stagano hidden data in PNG and BMP and the installation process now this is on github but you could probably find it other places too and you have the address here in case you need that now i usually talk a little bit about the process and what's around it when i do these tutorials and that's uh, kind of like one of the reasons that they last forever but uh, hiding text um inside pictures or hiding pictures inside pictures or sounds or zip files and uh, whatnot is a vast area and using zstag is just a tiny little program together with a lot of programs that can be used in different situations so since this is a category of easy i'm going to wait with the the complicated uh, explanations until we get to complicated uh, problems but for now we're, we are going to paste in uh, our flag and submit it and we have one more solved so next time we have um, recovering from the snap which could be very interesting because that's really forensics okay until next time